Sales and accounting teams use specific tools and services in their day-to-day -day work and closely interact to achieve business goals. They constantly exchange data between CRM and accounting systems. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build data integration between two CRM and accounting leaders, Salesforce and QuickBooks Online. Why do you need Salesforce and QuickBooks integration? Accounting, sales, and other teams constantly collaborate and share data including customer information, expenses, sales orders, and invoicing. Manual data exchange is slowing the business processes and may lead to human errors. Accounting and CRM data integration improves business productivity, optimizes company resources, and results in better reporting and forecasting. QuickBooks integration with Salesforce eliminates manual operations, saves time, and mitigates the risk of human errors by automating repetitive routine processes. With Salesforce and QuickBooks integration, you'll be able to exchange financial information with your sales department. QuickBooks solutions are represented by desktop and online versions. In this video, I will pay more attention to the online version and describe three options for QuickBooks Online and Salesforce integration. QuickBooks offers the manual method of integration with Salesforce. Salesforce Connector by QuickBooks is a tool to exchange data between Salesforce and QuickBooks Online Advanced. It pulls Salesforce opportunities into QuickBooks Online Advanced as invoices. It performs import in one direction only and requires additional investments. Pros of this method. Quick and easy way to create document drafts ready for approval. No specific skills are needed to set up the integration. The integration app is QuickBooks authorized. No third-party apps are needed. Cons. The app is only available in QuickBooks Online Advanced and in Salesforce Professional and higher subscription plans. No flexible integration options. It allows syncing only Salesforce opportunity records, thus it's not helpful if you need to integrate other objects. Only manual integration launch is available. It doesn't offer real-time integration or automatic execution. Integrate QuickBooks with Salesforce using REST API. This integration method provides flexible opportunities for Salesforce QuickBooks integration. The QuickBooks Online Accounting API allows integrating for any app supporting REST API with QuickBooks and Salesforce in both directions in real time. This method requires specific technical skills and deep REST API knowledge. You need to use the REST API to access QuickBooks Online, which is documented on developer.intuit.com. Pros of this method. It is flexible. You can access any available object and perform any possible data-related operation. You fully manage your integration and decide what web service to use and how to set the integration up. You can develop your app and meet your specific requirements. Real-time integration is supported using webhooks. Cons. You need to develop an account in QuickBooks and developer edition in Salesforce to use this method. It requires programming skills. It is complicated and requires a lot of time and resources for development, testing, and further maintaining. Salesforce and QuickBooks no code integration with Skyvia. There is no code method to automate Salesforce and QuickBooks online data integration in both directions, which offers flexible integration opportunities and doesn't require specific skills. Skyvia offers a reliable solution for QuickBooks Salesforce integration. You set up the integration manually and then it works automatically according to the settings. I will show you the simple bidirectional Salesforce QuickBooks integration use case. We will insert new records into QuickBooks customers from Salesforce contacts data and vice versa. You can see that I created five new test contacts yesterday. Let's see how we can import them to my test QuickBooks account. You can see that my customer's table on the QuickBooks site is empty now. In order to start creating your first integration, go to skyvia.com and sign up. I already have my Skyvia account, so I'll just click sign in. Then create a connection to your QuickBooks instance. You can select either production or sandbox environment. Then log in to your QuickBooks credentials here. Optionally, change the metadata cache parameter value. This parameter determines for how long the cached metadata for the connection is considered valid. Use the same approach to create a connection to your Salesforce instance.
I already created connections, so I can find them in the list of available connections. Select import scenario of the integration product here. Select data source as a source type. Let's configure Salesforce to QuickBooks integration first. Select Salesforce as a source connection and QuickBooks as a target. Name your package. Now you are ready to create your first import task. Click Add New. Specify the source settings. In the New Task Editor window on the source definition, you can use Advanced Mode and execute command, query, or run a report. Let's stick to the simple mode for now. Select the context table and specify the filters if necessary. I'll create one. Yesterday I created five test contacts and I want them to be integrated to QuickBooks. Click Next to proceed. Select the table which we will be integrating data to. In our case, it's QuickBooks customer. Select an operation you want to apply to your task. Insert, update, absurd, or delete. Insert imports records created since the previous package run or package creation if the package was never run. Update imports both records that were created and records that were modified since the previous package run. Absurd updates a record if it exists or insert a new record. This allows you to avoid inserting duplicate data. You need to map the target ID primary key columns for performing this operation. Delete determines the records to delete by their ID primary key values. Let's select Insert for this task. On the Mapping Definitions tab, we need to map the columns between tables. As you can see, the columns with the same names are mapped automatically, but the rest must be mapped manually. Say we need to import values from name and email columns only. Scavia supports column-to-column, -column, constant, expression, target, and source lookups mapping. Click Save. The task is ready. If you need to add more tables to the same import package, you should follow the same process and add more tasks. If you need your integrations to run automatically, you can enable scheduling here. Our integrations can run on a certain day of the month. Certain day of the week, daily, or recur every few hours or even minutes. So we can set up near real-time data loading. Now click Create. Click Run. Now the integration is in progress. We can now view its progress in the monitor section here. As you can see, we have just imported five records from Salesforce to QuickBooks. Follow the same process in order to create another integration package from QuickBooks to Salesforce. Scavia offers another option for bidirectional integration, synchronization package. It copies all the data from source to target and vice versa during the same run. This way is possible when the objects support this type of integration. Pros of this method. Scavia integrations are available from any place in the world. It doesn't require any additional application installation. You save the storage space and do not threaten company security. You don't need any specific knowledge and skills to build integration between Salesforce and QuickBooks and Skyvia. It is safe, 
All the actions performed by Skyvia are limited by the permissions granted to the user on whose behalf the connection is created. You are free to choose what objects to integrate and what operation to perform. Skyvia integration doesn't limit the number of integrated tables. It doesn't matter if the object is default or custom. It has no data volume limits. You pay for successfully processed records count. Cons. This approach requires some time and resources for integration setup. It doesn't support real-time integration like webhooks. However, you can set the integration schedule close to real-time, running every several minutes or more frequently. Only QuickBooks Online version is supported. However, the desktop version support is under development right now. The last but not the least, you may wonder how Skyvia processes customers' data from a security standpoint. Well, everything is hosted in Azure Data Center located in West California. You can see all the other details on this diagram. If you have any questions regarding your use case, please let us know over email. Thanks for watching.